Okay, so just a quick video to talk about triggering animations in sound. So I've just made a little, uh, well, a gap here that you can't jump across. I've reduced the jump distance so that we are going to make a little lift uh, that we can put across here in typical game fashion so that we can um, basically trigger it and then use it as a platform to jump across and pick up the juicy green item. So uh, I've just built that, just scaling it, and what we're going to do next, ew, there's a little bit of GPRD going on down there, um, GPDPRD, so I'm just going to uh, make a new level sequence, um, so this is where we're going to run the animation from, so uh, I'll just make sure I've named that something that I can recognise, that we're doing an elevator sound test, so I've called it elevator sound test. So just to note, I've got that object selected. Uh, I am going to just, uh, well, that object is called cube seven, so I'm gonna quickly change the name of that uh, to elevator sound. Um, so as long as you've got it selected and then we go down to track and we go to, uh, it'll automatically choose that and you can add it to the sequence. Quickly put in a keyframe at zero um, and then we'll move that up to it's 60 frames, it's 30 frames a second, so let's move it up to around about 90. So that's three seconds to get up there. Uh, yep. So I just moved it into position, and I'll go down and I will click again, just so we've got a running animation now. It's all good. Um, and so I'm just going to find a sound next. So this is with the starter content. So start content, that sounds fine, just sort of buzzing, just to make sure that we know. Um, so I'll just drag the cue in, the sound cue. Um, I'll just delete that one up there that I put in previously. Um, so it's a sound cue um, is what we need really, because it's got attenuation on it if you're actually using it in the game. The attenuation being drop off so that it, uh, it acts like a sound wood in the real world. Got to stick a box trigger in. Um, so this is going to trigger our animation and our sound. Just need to scale that up. Used to be a common issue in game development that uh, you would just put the trigger slightly off and your player character would never trigger things and it would cause all kinds of issues until you moved it ever so slightly. Exciting days as you can imagine. Uh, Okay, so let's just call that something sensible again. So, just got that selected. Uh, yeah, so I want to make a level, I want to go to my level blueprint. So the, I'm using the level blueprint so I can get easy access to uh, all my objects in my scene. Uh, so I don't have to cast to them. So um, basically, I've just because I've got the object selected again, it's given me an option to uh, to create an event for that that uh, box trigger, which is on actor begin overlap. So uh, this is create level sequence from player. So this means that it's going to trigger this sequence, uh, which is the, the level sequence we just created. So let's make that play, play, just play, just play. Uh, and you'll know if we if we compile it, you need to actually drag in the um, the level sequence. So it needs to have a target. So we just drag in. If we find the actual level sequence, uh, elevator v. Two is it? It's not elevator V two. So elevator sound test. You can see it says level sequence there. Drag that in, and what we're going to do is just link that up. So oh, hello. Oh, right, put it in the wrong place. So uh, yeah, just need to move that along there, and uh, what it'll do is it'll convert it again for us because Unreal is nice that way. Uh, and then we can compile, and that should be fine. So that's all good. If we play now, we should be able to. Let's just 
actually let's just try and put this sound in while we're here play sound application select the asset So it's light. Um, I'm looking for sound cue and it's not sound cue. Let's just compile that. Um, okay, so I just restarted the vid. Uh, so we, I'm just looking there. It's called uh, it's called um, light zero two Q. So again, we'll note if we try and drag that location in, it won't. So we need to effectively. Uh, get world location and again it does some nice conversions so that uh, we it's finding a vector based world location for your sound cue and then just plug that in uh, so again we do want to put the sound in there that's not going to work um, so we just actually put the sound noise in. Okay, so I'm not actually sure if yeah, if it's actually playing, if it's just picking that out and playing that, or to, it's spawning it effectively. Um, so you'll note that that's actually playing in the background. That's how well I play games. Um, so you'll note that's actually just playing in the background automatically, so it's looping or it's just auto activating. So uh, that's all fine. So I just need to get hold of that and then uh, I need to get hold of the queue. And if we scroll down, uh, many thousands of miles down here, I believe. It's down here somewhere. No. So auto activate strangely almost the last thing on the uh, scrollable menu. Um, so it's not playing now. We can jump over. We can hit that trigger box. Wumpf. So another little issue um, is that it will reset automa automatically. So we don't want that happening. So what we'll do is um, if we've got the transform track um, selected, you can go to when finished and you can select keep state so i'll just show you that it doesn't work if you just select the keyframe uh, that you get a different menu so you need to have make sure you've got the entire track selected that's the way you do it uh, okay keep state so let's uh that's all compiled and saved so let's test that uh, so i'm not sure why it doesn't reset the sequences at the start of the level is probably some setting that you can turn on. Um, so I've just reset that sequence back to zero again. Uh, right, that's nothing to do with what we're testing, that's just because my AI has just activated the level change spawn uh, or trigger. Okay, so let's just check that stays in place. All good. Jump on the greeny thingy, which would normally just destroy, and you'd get a pickup noise and so on and so forth. Um, and just one last thing is just to show that you can effectively um, also just put a little uh, delay in here if you want there to be a pause. So um, you know that means if you want there to be a pause before the sound starts. Uh, so let's just put two seconds in, um, compile it, and let's have a quick look. Okay, okay, so that's coming up and the sound's been delayed. There we go, happy days.